and welcome back to the second part of our snail mail videos for this week. We got so much mail in our P.O. box. It was so exciting. And as usual, if you guys are interested in sending in mail, you can look into the video description down below and you can see all of the information that you need to know on how to send something our way over to the Pixel Biology uh, headquarters where I have some very squeaky birds that you guys might hear in just a minute. Uh, it looks like... They're discussing who's going to get the biggest portion of the spray mullet right now. Usual Gouldy and Finch things. So I'm really excited, you guys. For me, it was just a few minutes ago. For you guys, it would have been yesterday. I just finished opening up half of the mail that we have. And I'm still stunned by the art, by the excitement, by just all of the things that you guys have sent in, by the kind words, by the creativity, and also by the fact that we even have gifts. And here's one of them from Pavo himself. Isn't that so cool? Oh, it's look at Freaking, I feel like I should make him a peacock and try to send it back, so we'll have to see if my skills will be that good or not. But I'm very excited to open up the second half of our mail for the week. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive on in. And as usual, it is just as big a pile as yesterday, so if I seem to be going a little bit faster, it's just to try to make sure that we get to everybody before poor Siri's voice gives out. <laughs> so first off, we actually have two letters from the same person from Emma in Illinois. So I'm going to open both of these up. I love the really awesome awesome little animal stamps and I won't show them because they're the address stamps but I love the awesome animal stamps here Emma so let us see what these have to say very gently opening it up there we go and I'm going to very carefully open this oh. <laughs> all right so I think this may be the first one and it says, Emma is 10 years old. She's a huge fan. And hello, Emma. And she loves to draw. You put your address out there, so prepare to get a lot of these. And I'm very excited about that then, Emma. As you guys can see, I try to take very good care of all of the letters and the artwork and everything else that you guys send in. It is just so exciting. So I'm going to very carefully open the second letter from Emma so we can do both of them at the same time. So somebody who's a big fan, I'm so excited. I love sharing our adventures together with you guys and loves to draw. So let's see what that combination creates here with Emma's work. So hello, Emma. So let's see what your work is. Oh, look at them. Oh, Emma. We've got some cats for warrior cats here. So we have right here a leaf kit, fox kit, tom, a tom, a wolf kit. Oh, gosh. Oh, and here's some fresh kill being brought in for the clan. I am so excited. You guys are so thrilled about the Warrior Cat series and all of the different cats in the original characters, or should we say original cats, uh -huh, that you guys have are so much fun to see. And I just cannot wait till we make the clans big enough that you can really start seeing like the relationships between all of the clans and how all the cats are interacting with each other. I think you guys are really going to love it. Ooh! Oh, wow! <laughs> so we have a Silver Fang and Dawn Step uh, shipper here. And we have a Rabbit Kit and Flower Kit. And here's Silver Fang. And I can promise you guys that if everything goes to plan, and sometimes it doesn't go to plan in Sims, so we'll have to see if it'll stay on plan, then we should hopefully be seeing handsome old man Silver Fang back in the future. And he is looking really good. I love how you've just seen glimpses of these cats. And already, ooh, a shadow kitty. Look at that. Emma, thank you so much. Oh, it's so exciting to see how you've only seen glimpses of these guys. And already, you are a guy, you're just super excited. You're creating art. You guys are creating story backgrounds for all of our cats. It's going to be so fun to share their adventures with you guys. Oh my gosh. All right. So then we have another pile from Emma here. And we have Dawn Step, Lion Sun, Honey Wish. And it looks like a Star Clan cat. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, look at those leaves. Oh my gosh. So Dawn Step, Lion Step, or Lion Sun, and Honey Wish. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, and somebody's thinking about, I think, a Star Clan cat there. I like that. That is so lovely. And then here we have, I give you the life of love. Ooh, so Star Clan cat talking to a moss leaf there. You can tell it's moss leaf because she has her little green markings. Oh, I love it. Emma, you are definitely already thinking up stories for all of these guys, aren't you? <laughs> moss leaf and lion sun. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 
And there's a flower in her hair too. Oh, I wish I could somehow manage to like put flowers on the cats just for decoration now and then. That would be a fun clan tradition to start. Emma, thank you so much. I am so excited to get your pictures. I'm really looking forward to any more that you want to send our way. And I am very excited to share more about our cats with you guys and their history and their legacies. So you can really start seeing their stories and kind of their origin stories come together. I think you are going to absolutely love it. So thank you so much, Emma. I'm so excited to add that into our scrapbook pretty soon. And I'm probably going to have to start a new scrapbook before we have the next uh, snail mill because this one is going to be jam-packed by the end of the day, I have a feeling. All right. And then over here, North Carolina. So another North Carolinian nearby. Oh, this is so cute. All right. Let's see. And there's just like a little drawing on the back. I like it. I like it. I just came to say hello. And then let's see what we have here from my fellow North Carolina, North Carolinian resident. North Carolinian? Hmm, North Carolinian sounds more appropriate. All right. And then right here we've got... <laughs> oh my gosh, we've got an awesome drawing. All right. So here we go. Oh, there's a letter behind here too. All right. And then this is a letter to read privately for later. So I'm just glancing over it really quickly. Oh, and I think, oh, somebody who's super excited about warrior cats and wolves. And <laughs> there's some disco zoo art on the background there. Oh, that's so fun. And then ta-da, look at this. Isn't this so cool? We've got a really nice picture. Man, I really need to get some sort of khaki outfit like that so I can actually look. I need to get a hibiscus that I just start sticking. When, the, when it gets summer, I need to have like a hibiscus tree somewhere nearby so I can just stick a hibiscus in my hair every time we do snail mails. But look at that. And the finches. Yeah, it's you guys again. Yeah, they're, they're silly birds. So thank you so, so much. I am so excited. A loving fan, which is what you you say here. So I think this is a secret name. MMG, I see the little little icon on the bottom there. So thank you so much. This is beautiful fan art. And I cannot wait to add it into our little scrapbook. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, those are slimes. I just got it. I thought it was a, a blowing up sun. It's a boom slime and my little puddle slimes. Oh, that's adorable. That is so adorable. Oh, and there's the bare butt biters at the top. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so fun. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to see your work and I hope you are enjoying the nicer weather that we had earlier today. Um, yeah, because you're nearby and that's always such a surreal feeling. I always wonder like if I might be out in public one day and somebody's just like, Siri, and I have no idea how I'd react. I'd probably like be so shy, but that would be really cool too. So, all right, let's move on and let's see what we have here from Arkansas, I think. All right, let's open this up. No, that would be Arizona. Pretty sure. Still working on my state abbreviations. All right, and then let's gently open it up and let's see what we have. Let's see. Oh, all is public, thank you. That really helps me know that I can open this up. I have a couple of pieces of paper right here. And ooh, let's see, we've got a letter. All right, so let's see. Dear Siri, and I really like the fact that my name has a paw print at the top there. That is really cool. All right, dear Siri. I'm Sarah and I'm 10 years old. I love your series. Wolves are my favorite wild animals. So seeing Wolf Quest is awesome. I finished reading the last book of Warriors and got on my phone and got another, uh, and got another, let's see, and got a notification that you uploaded Sims Warrior Cats. There we go. I love your channel. Keep it up and stay happy. Love, Sarah, aka Shadow Wolf in comments. Animals rule. They do, Sarah. I'm so glad you love our Warrior Cat series. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. It is so fun because pretty much all of the like letters and comments and mail and emails and everything I've been getting lately, late, late, lately, lately, there we go, have been all about Warrior Cats. And so it's really exciting to be able to really move into this series. I just have a feeling it's going to be be a really big amazing series once we get it going especially once I can get those random generators up it's gonna be very complicated in a really fun way all right and then let's see what's going on here oh it's Warrior Cats fan art thank you so much look at that Sarah I like him I like him a lot he looks like a cat who, who has eaten he eaten very well lately doesn't he he looks like a cat who's not having any trouble catching his prey all right thank you so much Sarah all right and then what do we have over here and let's see, ooh, please open on camera. I'm a green thumb. You are the first YouTuber I've ever sent mail to from Madeline, I believe. Magdalene, there we go, Magdalene. All right, so I'm gonna open this very carefully on camera. Magdalene, beautiful name, by the way. I haven't heard that name in quite a long time. And then let's very carefully pull out 
the male that's hiding inside. So excited. Oh, the chickadee's back. <laughs> you guys, it's so fun. I have a bird feeder behind here. So every time we do snail mail, I'm like, yay, there's mail. And a chickadee will fly up and land in the bird feeder right behind you guys. I'll have to show it off on a vlog in the future. All right. And then I'm going to glance through this really quickly. Do, do, do. And I think it's okay to read this. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Oh boy, this is so fun. Gabby, all right. So I'm just glancing through it because it's a little bit longer. Ooh, uh, here's names for the Sims 3 Warrior Cats. Moonleaf, Sunleaf, Moss Lion, or yeah, Moss Iron, I think. Uh, Rock Mane, Creek Shine, and Smooth Shine. I have a dog, Charlotte, and a foster dog who just went to his new family. His name was Louie. Oh, that's really fun, because actually, um, Wynn has a dog on her zoo crafting series called Louie. Uh, I was sad, but I know it was the right thing. I hope you get this. Intern Maggie. So thank you so much, Intern Maggie. I am very excited. We will be, and we did get it, clearly. And oh my goodness, look at this horse. So this is Gabby, right here. Very nice drawing. I think horses have to be one of the hardest things that you could possibly try to draw. And you guys just stunned me every time that you were able to pull it off. And then we've got beautiful black and white style flower. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. It kind of looks like a passion flower. Oh, that's gorgeous. Maggie, that's excellent job. Oh, and what do we have here? Oh, dearest Sister Tempest, what shall I do? Oh, it's one of our Wolf Quest wolves talking to her ancestors to try to figure out what she is going to do. And that's so fun to give our wolves the an ancestor challenges now, too. I really love that. And then back to Gabby. So thank you so much, Maggie. Intern Maggie, have fun. So I, I know that somebody has probably been watching uh, all the way over to our Zoo Tycoon 2 videos. So thank you so much, Maggie. It is so much fun to have your beautiful art and to know that, like I said, it is you guys are cat crazy and I love it. And I cannot wait to keep adding in more cats and to really get that series going. It's going to be awesome. All right, and then we have this one right here, and this one is from Florida, and then I can read the note out loud if I want. All right, and I'm going to carefully open this up. I want to be very careful not to hurt anything inside. So this one's from Florida. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying. Sometimes these envelopes can be a little tricky. Oh, we've got some artwork in here. All right, so let's see what we've got. Ooh, this is colorful artwork. <gasps> is this the Tate and Tackle? Oh, I need to find the letter before I peek at the artwork. Okay, here we go. Ooh, this is nice. All right. Dear Siri, I love your videos. I know you like birds, and in my backyard we have a bird pond and bird houses, and in spring tons of pretty birds come. Also, remember, remember your series of Twin Bark Town Animal Rescue Roleplay? I really like it, and if you could please keep doing the series. One more thing, I love your work and you inspired me to become a biologist vet. I love animals uh, like you. Please respond back. Uh, sincerely, Tiana. Oh my goodness, my friend supports you a lot. She told me about you. Oh, thank you so much, Tiana, and I hope you and your friend are having a wonderful day. I'm super excited, and we've talked about Twin Bark Town a lot in the update vlogs, and you can check out the update vlogs for like more in-depth, like Siri really babbles for a while, I'll talk about it. But the basic gist of things is that I am a little bit overwhelmed with all of the series we're running right now, and if role-playing series is a ton of work, but I do plan on going back to it one day, and oh my goodness, it's color! <laughs> All right, Warrior Cat's Mini Feathers. So we have Moss Leaf hunting a bird right here in the Warrior Cat series. And then if we flip it over, it's the Tate and Tackle. And it says, Lily, Tate's saying, Lily, don't touch the fish. And then the Lily is saying, just one fish, Tate. So you can see the awesome Tate and Tackle where we've got our huge aquarium in the center and the aquariums and the lakes that are on either side of the Tate and Tackle. That was one of the funnest things we have ever built. I am really in love with all of the detail and everything that we have added into that particular series. So that was really awesome. Oh my goodness. So thank you so much, Tiana. And I am so glad to hear that you have a friend who also shares your passion for our adventures. And I cannot wait to bring more to you. All right. So, oh goodness. Like I said, sorry if I'm going a little faster because there's just so many people. And then we've got some little packages down here. And let's see. This one is from Idaho, I'm pretty sure. And it says, please read on camera. And this one, it's, gonna, it's gonna, got some weight to it. So I'm really curious to see what's inside. If it's like yesterday, then it might be more Pokemon cards. All right. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a turtle. It's a turtle. You guys, it's Tommy. Tommy the turtle. So his name, he has a little name tag on him, and it's Tommy the turtle. Look at him. Oh, that makes 
makes me want to go to all of the really awesome turtle rescues that we have here in North Carolina and go actually get a chance to interview some of them. Tommy the turtle, that is the best thing ever. Oh my gosh, come over here, Tommy. You're going to stay right there for a minute. And then let's see who this is from. Oh, there's something else in here too. What is in here? It's a mystery pod. We have a little mystery pod. This is this is getting exciting. Oh my gosh. All right. So that's that. So let's see. All right. And then this is don't show on camera. And this is to see the letter. So I will I will read this privately then. So I'm going to gently tuck that away. And then let's go ahead and see what this one is. <gasps> Ooh, it's colorful art. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh, it's for Lunala. It's some Lunala fan art, you guys. Look at this. Look at all that color. Oh my gosh. Lunala. Dun -da -da. That is so pretty. Wow. Okay, so I think it's from uh, Gina, perhaps. Because, oh, and there's, <gasps> there's Yarny. <laughs> Look, I missed it. Yarny is hiding in the picture. That is the best thing to start hiding Yarny in the pictures. And then it's like, where is Yarny? That is an amazing idea. A plus creativity there. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And, and, and Tommy. All right, you, you hang out over here with Tommy. And then we're going to peek in the mystery pod really quickly. I hope I'm allowed to peek in the mystery pod on camera. We'll have to figure it out. Aha! Mystery pod mystery is now solved. All right. I will also be taking care of that off camera, but I've got both things. So thank you so much. I will be going through these very carefully. So thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Tommy the turtle too. Oh, I love that. I have like, now I've got the little silverfish. You guys remember the silverfish we had? And then we've got the little tiger. We've got all sorts of little creatures that are from you guys that I keep up here. The little teensy ones I'm able to put out all together and that makes me really happy. I'm trying to look around. I've got like all sorts of seashells. Here's Isla, or the Isla she, seashell that she gave me. I have a whole bunch more from her too. I love the treasures you guys send me and I really do treasure them. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> All right, and then this one is from a longtime correspondent, Fluffy Bunny. And it says live inside. So I'm going to see what Fluffy Bunny has sent us because I'm quite curious. Fluffy Bunny has been messaging us or sending us P.O. Box stuff since the very, very first P.O. Box. I think she was one of the very first people. So let's see what this says and what's in here. There's a lot of tape, so give me just a moment to gently work through it. There we go. All right, what do we have here? Warning live. Uh, warning live. Ruler <laughs> rules. Don't feed after midnight. Don't put in light. Don't put in water. Fragile. And there's a winky face. Oh, what do we have here? Oh my goodness. I, do I need to read the instructions first before I like look at what's hiding in there? I'm going to open it up. Oh, Fluffy Bunny, what have you sent our way this time? All right. Yo, Siri, I'm really excited for the Warrior series. And it's like in big letters too, so I'm trying to enunciate correctly. I've decided to draw a picture of my fave warrior, Yellow Fang. P.S. My last pick was of Grumpy Cat. Uh, love, Fluffy Bunny. Oh, and there's Yellow Fang. Kind of looks like a dog. Well, I guess now it's rain. <laughs> was apparently supposed to be yellow thing in the beginning and then she's decided that it kind of looks like a dog so maybe it's rain the wolf instead so it's yellow thing or rain depending on which way you want to lean that's awesome that is so awesome fluffy bunny and you have sent another treat for us oh my gosh so let me see if i can gently i want to see what's in here it's gently wrapped in tissue paper this is very creative you guys are really starting to like Oh my gosh, like Yarny hiding around the place. What is here? Oh, <laughs> it's a wolf figurine. It looks like a red wolf figurine, almost like a coyote, but we're gonna call it a red wolf for now. So I think you could kind of debate, uh, pointed muzzle might be coyote, but we're gonna go with red wolf. That is really cool. Like I was just saying, all of the figurines, Tommy, you have a friend. So Tommy and, and Tommy, or like Tommy and like, hmm, what am I going to name you? Fluffy Bunny, you're going to have to let me know what we're going to name that one because that is really cool. And I love these instructions. This is so fun. It's creativity at the max. I love it, you guys. I love seeing just your excitement, your happiness. To me, when you see a lot of really happy, creative energy, then you know that things are probably for the majority or for the most part uh, or in some deep, important way, even if not on the surface, going well in someone's life. And so it makes me really happy to see these things. 
And oh my gosh, we kind of got through that a little faster than I thought. So I apologize if I kind of rushed through things. A few letters that said to read them off camera, so that's what I'm going to do there. And then we have one last letter that's very pretty. One last package that is gorgeous. This is going to be one of those ones that I'm going to have to very carefully put away. I keep the envelopes that look like this inside of the scrapbooks too because that is so pretty. It reminds me of actually Joe's art. Joe from Australia, our good friend Joe. Uh, I need to say hello to her. It's been a little while. And then, um, hmm, hmm, I'm not good with where this might be from, but we're going to very carefully open it up. It's from Royal Mail, so this is another one that's from overseas, Air Mail. Oh my gosh, what's in here? Wow, what is all this? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, okay. Ooh. Okay, so very careful, we'll put the beautiful, I mean, one last little glimpse at this gorgeous, gorgeous flower here. And then it says for Siri, and I'm gonna take a glimpse at this to see, let's see. Do, 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 do. And I think I, Let's see. Hop, da, 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 da. A bird whistle. What? <laughs> I threw in a bird whistle. It's the PS that I just see at the end. This is a bird whistle. Hey, you guys. Hmm. I'm gonna have to figure out how to play with it. I've never had a bird whistle before. Oh, there you go. Did you hear them go quiet? Oh my gosh. They look so startled. I'm sorry, guys. Are we back to singing? Okay, I'll see eyes the first one to resume singing. That is so cool. I have never seen a bird whistle like in person before. I mean, I have like the little ceramic ones that you fill with water and you blow on, but this is so awesome. Oh my gosh. All right. Best wishes. And then I cannot read your signature. I hope you'll forgive me. Um, so you're like mystery bird whistle person. All right. And I think I'm allowed to read this out. So, dear Siri, how was 2015 for you? I know you update us in vlogs, but I like asking. And 2015 was really rough in the beginning because I had terrible seasonal affective disorder. Like, I was so depressed when it was winter. And then we had to move again. And then the move turned out to be one of the best things that has ever happened to us. It really has. And I really hope I can have some vlogs in the future where you guys can ask me questions about those things. And I can just be open. <laughs> Sorry about that. That one time it was my sister calling. Oh, why is Siri only popular when she's trying to record snail mail vlogs? Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, yes, um, I hope to have vlogs where I can be open and honest with you guys, talk about those things, because I wish somebody would have said, hey, if you're super depressed when it's like winter and you're with the most amazing person in the world, so you feel super guilty for being sad when you have the most awesome boyfriend ever, then what do you should you do? And I, and I have some answers for what you should do now. So I always feel like it's better to talk about those things because you never know what words you may say or what examples you may set for people who are also having a hard time. So it started off hard and it turned out to be one of the most amazing years of my life. And 2016 so far has been the most amazing year of my life. I can say that with 100% confidence. And you guys, I'm not going to mince words are easily the majority of that. And there's a lot of great stuff going on behind the scenes in my personal life. My relationship with Chips is the foundation of all of my joy. But you guys, and, and these kinds of questions and people who care enough to ask, that is a huge part of the amazing year that this is being. All right, and then let's see. Before I start, I always wax sentimental right at the last letter. Like I just break into tears, have to just break it all down. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna try to keep going, all right. I am so happy about how the community has been expanding, but I remember being here for your Sims 2 series, and I love how, how accepting the community is. And oh my gosh, then you've been around since the beginning! Oh, Sims 2! If I could do anything for my birthday this year, it would be try to force myself to have time to at least do like a couple Sims 2 videos a week even. It would be awesome. All right, now let's see. I hope you enjoy the art I have sent you as well as the post, uh, as well as the postcards. I love your Sims video and I miss the Supernatural series, but as long as you are happy with the content you produce, I am happy with the content I watch from you. Thank you so much. I love Sims. Uh, it's so hard because Sims gets the worst views and like on some level I have to choose to pick the things I know will be healthy for the channel and for being able to pay like I'm, I'm main breadwinner so <laughs> and right now at least and so it's really important to be able to feed and, and house Chips and I as well as take care of my family like my extended family my parents and whatnot but I miss Sims a lot and I really miss the Supernatural series and all the drama that was going on there and you can rest assured that as our community is getting bigger it's actually making it better so that I can turn around and take care of those little pet projects that are truly like my 
my cherished little creative children, but may not be super popular, and that's fine. But I'm still going to put them out there for those of you guys who might love them, just like you apparently love our Sims stuff. So I'm very happy when you guys say, if you know there's a series that's not super popular, like maybe, um, like the the uh, Stardew Valley, for example, least popular series on our, our channel lineup right now. But if you love it and you just mention to me that you love it, that's all the little spark I need to be able to go, all right, if I have time, it's going to keep going. And it's because I, I just, there's so many adventures. There's adventures everywhere to share with you guys. And I'm babbling. Why do I always do this on the last letter? Okay, keep moving. <clears throat> I am currently doing uh, higher art and hopefully doing advanced higher next year. Hopefully my art keeps improving to reach the standard needed. How is Chips, How is Chips, aka Darling? I hope he is doing well with his studies and uh, your plant obsession isn't distracting him too much. That's really awesome that you mentioned that. My plan obsession has actually given him some peace of mind because I will be spending the weekend while he is gone for like about a week and then he's coming home for a day and then leaving again uh, to interview for his PhD programs, which is a really big deal. So we're about to figure out where we are going to live for the next seven years based on which program he ends up picking. And that's a huge deal. I have moved every year, every year, sometimes three times a year for the past like five or so years. So I would be very grateful to know I'm putting down my roots for a little while especially if I could stop moving like across the country and through state lines. Uh, one of the reasons I haven't finished my biology degree just yet and it's just hovering there with just a few credits needed is because I haven't stayed in any place long enough to have state residency to go back to school. So long story short, Chips is on an adventure right now and thankfully my plant obsession meant that I went out and bought a bunch of seeds. So he was really happy because he knows that I'll entertain myself while he's gone. All right, and then let's see, best wishes. And then we have some, I guess, Oh, people think haggis are little creatures that uh, uh, that run around the, the halls. So, oh my gosh, that's adorable. I know what haggis is, but that's because my mother is obsessed with men in kilts, and you never heard me say that. <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, I just scared the poor chickadee! I went, wow, and I like burst this up, and he just flew away. Sorry, little chickadee. Oh, we've got beautiful flower. Oh, and have this kiss after beautiful flower. Whoops, it's upside down, I'm sorry. Look at that, look at this art. And then we've got some tree branches going on here. Uh, I planted a real tree for you at my local moor. There are many tall trees there, but the ground is so full of nutrients. I decided to plant one in honor of you. Thank you, that is amazing. Oh my gosh, that is that makes me so happy. <laughs> That's something I've always wished I could do is like every thousand subscribers we reach I wish I could go plant a tree. That's something I've always wanted to do um, I just haven't been able to because we haven't had roots We've literally not lived anywhere I can find like a place to do that because we keep moving But after this move, I think that might be something we start doing because that would be really cool So oh and to know have trees out there planted in my honor means so much. Thank you so much Oh my gosh, and then there's some postcards down here and then some more art. Oh, ooh, flowers. <laughs> beautiful flowers. Beautiful flowers everywhere. Oh my goodness. Look at all of this, you guys. Isn't this gorgeous? Just color and flowers. And keep working at it. Keep working with your medium. Oh, wow. And then here is a falcon. Gorgeous. That scared the chickadee away, too. So it's very realistic. You know that it's uh, very lifelike. What do you think, new chickadee? New chickadee's not that impressed. It must be a very brave chickadee. Because, yeah, that's Feather. So that's a specific chickenie. She's very brave. Then we have some postcards. Scotland. Little postcards. Oh, my gosh. Horny in Scotland. <laughs> I've got to show my mom that. She's going to get the biggest kick out of that. Oh, my gosh. And the official Loch Ness Monster postcard. These are fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, you guys. This is... This is awesome, especially right now because Chips is actually going to be out of town a lot this month. It is so much fun to just turn around and look around myself in this big semicircle. And I'm just surrounded by your guys' excitement and happiness and glimpses into the lives of all of our community members. And it means so much to me that I can, I can see this and that this is part of my life, that this is part of your lives, that I can continue to try to work hard to bring you adventures and creativity and snippets of happiness and whatever it is that our series give to you, whatever they are, if they're the least popular ones, if they're the most popular ones, whatever it is, I'm just so glad that you guys can have something that can give you just a moment of happiness or joy or help you learn something new about the natural world. 
I hope you guys all have such a wonderful day and I cannot wait to share more adventures with you. So I'll see you next time guys. Bye bye. <laughs>